This is the electric service video, the home faces south. This is our service drop. Looks like it's new. Weather mask. Uh, entrance conduit fine. Bell head fine. Meter is on the west side of the attached garage. Now this box should have been sealed on three sides to protect, help prevent moisture infiltration from getting into the structure. Should have been sealed. Moving on along. Coming inside the garage west interior wall. This is the electric service panel. It only had four screws holding it on. This cab, this dead front cover takes six screws. We're missing two screws. This is called handwriting. Okay, see where it says danger here? See where it says warning there? See where it says square D there? Or H O M 3 C Z C 3 0 U C C. All of that, that's printing. This is handwriting. The manufacturer specifies, the code specifies that the breaker labeling should be printed and durable, not handwritten like this. Okay. Also, we come in here, we learn that this is the closed dryer 220 circuit breaker. That should be GFCI protected, and it's not. Okay. We should not have gaps around the panel cabinet wider than an eighth of an inch. That compromises the fire blocking. Okay. We should not have cap gaps like that around it. All the drywall above this should have been sealed. L1 and L2 should have neoprene covers on them, little you know, plastic booties. If you don't know that's hot, you don't belong in this cabinet. I get that but they should have covers on them. Down here, this white wire coming in. For the air conditioner. This should be wrapped with black tape. Okay, if you don't know that's hot, you don't belong in this cabinet, I get that, but it should be wrapped with black tape. Foreign debris should not be inside of the cabinet. And then this cabinet was screwed into place. Screwed into place. The manufacturer says that it should be nailed into place. They're pretty clear about that. They have a picture of a nail and a hammer. It should be nailed into place. Nails have much more sheer strength than screws. More likely to stay in place in case there was an event such as a tornado or something like that. So that's what we have. We've got AFCI and GFCIs in all about the right places except for the clothes dryer. This is GFCF for the bath, so that's okay. So we're, we're looking good in that regard. So what do we learn? On the other side of the wall, our meter was not sealed. Inside of here, we've got screws holding the cabinet in place. Uh, we are missing our neoprene covers. Uh, our white hot's not labeled. We've got debris in the cabinet. We've got gaps larger than an eighth of an inch. And our cabinet was handwritten instead of printed, our breaker identification. Our dryer GFCI, our dryer is not on a GFCI circuit. We only have four screws holding the cabinet cover on 